Hey guys, it's Rainy. So for this, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is just tracing the shape of my Oreo cookie because I need the size of that for the Easter eggs. I'm going to be taking this piping tip and this small cookie cutter. I'm not really sure if it's a cookie cutter though. I just think it's like for arts and crafts because it's like so tiny. But I'm going to be using the cutter for like the bottom part of the egg and then the top part is going to be my piping tip. And that kind of like gives you the shape of the egg. I'm just going to be working on like the details of it and then the top to make it pointier because that's how eggs usually are. Folding this in half, cutting this so I can have like an even shape. And this is going to be the template. For my first decoration, I'm going to be coloring some fondant yellow. I do have the review for this fondant. The one I'm using is by Wilton. Rolling my fondant using my roller with those two green rings on each side so that I can have the same thickness all throughout my fondant. So it dries evenly. And then I'm going to be using this piping tip, this big one, as a cookie cutter or as a cutter. And I'm using this one because it has like the perfect size to go on top of my cookie. Then I'm going to be drawing the little face using this fine black edible marker which has a fine tip, first drawing two dots to just make them circles. I'm going to be using this orange gel food coloring, my dotting tool, which I do have the DIY for this one, if you want to check it out, it's actually really easy and handy to do, I use it all the time, and I'm going to be painting the beak. It's just a triangle, you don't need much uh, orange at all, a drop is just way too much, I actually wasted here, but yeah, working on those details to make this pointy, and this is it for this one, and I'm going to show you them all at the end. For the second one, I'm going to be using the steel gel food coloring, I do have the review for this one if you want to check it out. Coloring my fondant again. Coloring step by step here because I didn't want my chill to be like super dark and so I just added with my toothpick. I'm going to be rolling this one as well and then I'm going to be using my template from now on and then just cutting it with this tool. It's like a blade slash cutter slash structure knife. I'm going to be making a review on this one soon but yeah cutting my shape and every time I cut a shape is going to be like the same way and letting it dry. Then I'm going to be using some clear vanilla extract. I got this at Hobby Lobby. My dropper and my gold dust and I'll use this brush as for cake decorating and stuff. I'm using this like roundish one adding some dots like a pocket dot pattern. Then for this one I had some leftover yellow fondant from like the one at the beginning and so I'm just going to be taking a bit of that and mixing it with some white just a little bit. Cutting it again and then just going back to my gold. Then I'm going to be using all this gel food colorings. I do have the review for the pink, purple and teal ones. Then again my yellow one, mixing them with my clear vanilla extract. And this is going to be my like sponge paint easter egg, like multicolor. But instead of using a sponge, I'm going to be using this brush. The way that I'm doing here is I grab the color with my brush, then remove the excess on my napkin and then just like sponged the colors one by one all over the place. Now I'm a one woman show here. I didn't even notice my hand was covering the whole thing so that's great. Um, You can barely tell what's going on here but I went uh, doing the same thing with each color and then cleaning the brush in between colors and doing the same thing. Not adding too much of one color just giving each color enough space. And I did this twice. I did this with all the colors. And in here you can kind of see what I did here. My camera angle was at the wrong place, but hopefully you can kind of tell what I'm doing. And at the end I'm going to be giving this a little dab, going with my finger and just blend the whole thing. And please just ignore the one on the left. I ended up not liking that one. I actually washed it and this is what I did. I just went with the like traditional design of like easter eggs with the zigzags and the lines like that. With the teal, the purple, the yellow and the pink. And also, side note, I actually don't really like like this pink at all. I don't like the shade of pink and I actually don't like the formula it gives as opposed to the other ones when you mix it with some clear vanilla extract. I thought I would just share that. But then I'm going to be grabbing a piece of parchment paper and I'm going to be doing this. Removing the excess coloring like this and just I almost want just to have almost like if it was a stain of the design if that makes sense. And I really like how this turned out. Now for this final one I'm going to be adding some water to my brush, add some sprinkles on top. This is actually the easiest one and then just removing the sprinkles and in some parts the sprinkles stuck to the edges if that makes sense so i had to uh, remove them to just decorate them i'm going to be adding some water to the top of my cookies then grab a tiny tiny bit of fondant place it and with the water your fondant is going to become sticky then you're going to be adding some water at the back of your topper place it on top and that's pretty much it feel free to use other like methods for gluing like tiles i think it's called but this one works just fine 
but yeah guys this is what they look like i think they turned out so cute except the gold one doesn't look like shiny and beautiful as gold is i need another gold definitely that actually looks like gold i have an idea in my mind of what i wanted it to look like i wanted to go for like willy wonka's golden egg and as you can tell it has nothing to do with it if you have any suggestions for gold let me know but other than that i'm happy that i went for this because i really like what they turned out it's the first time that i do anything like this decorated cookies like this it's usually cupcakes what i do but i like this ones a lot it's actually much easier to do than cupcakes because you don't have to bake anything hopefully you like them too give this video a thumbs up if you like them and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye